Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing our first experience, our first ever try at F1 2021 online. So we're just going to do social play for today and we're going to do beginner friendly. So it looks like one shot qualifying with five laps, collisions disabled, which I didn't realise actually when I jumped into this because like anyone really, you just jump into it. You never really read it to be honest, I don't think anyone ever does. Um, as soon as it was beginner, I just thought it'd be like reduced track limits or whatnot. But first lobby here is absolutely packed, which is awesome to see. And it's gonna be one shot qualifying. And our first track here is Russia. So let's get our first qualifying session underway then. So we don't have to worry about ERS. It is automatic in this one. All we need to worry about is the DRS instead. So one shot qualifying. I assume in this that if you basically get a warning, it will just cancel your lap completely. But we get the first two corners underway, and I think so far so good. Uh, I've got no experience. I've not raced around this track at all whatsoever. Big break point here as we go under the Rolex sign there. Tight right hander in fourth gear. Uh, not too shabby, not too bad. And then we're looking for our break point here. I was just breaking as the curb started to appear on the left hand side. My own experience of driving this track is from previous F1 games. I do know that actually driving this track, I actually really enjoy it. Although watching the race on the TV kind of sucks. Uh, the race itself, when you're doing it yourself on the game, I actually really like how the car feels around this circuit. It feels very sparse and smooth and flowing. It just doesn't... <laughs> well, it's just not good on the telly, is it? It's just... It's, it's not the greatest of races, even with the season we're having. So maybe if we go here this season, I don't know if it's on the calendar, but if we do, hopefully fingers crossed with how good it is in terms of the midfield fight and then the fight at the front, maybe, we just maybe, we can actually make this track interesting. So this corner here, there's left and then right hander. Left hander here is really easy, I find, uh, to go over like a sausage curb and then the car kind of yeets itself into the air. So you've got to be careful of that and it's super easy to go wide here. As we go through the last corner here, we're going to set ourselves a time of a 132 0.6 again no idea if that's any good absolutely no idea whatsoever because it's my first time doing a lap we come p4 and we are eight and a half temps off now the lap didn't feel that bad and this is a beginner's lobby so i was a little bit surprised to be nearly a second off pole i guess but it was far from a perfect lap but it wasn't i don't think it was too bad for your first ever lap anyways waiting for the five red lights and we are going to get ourselves underway and unbelievably I get a drive-through penalty on my first race. Look at that. Absolutely incredible launch. That was so, so close. Let's watch that again, shall we? Let's get a live-action replay of that and slow it right down here. Look how close I was to getting this absolutely nailed. Look at that. That is incredible. That must be a frame that I got that wrong. It's my first ever online race on this game, and the first thing I do is get a drive-through penalty penalty which is super super frustrating but it doesn't really matter there is no ranking as such there's no you don't really level up or there's not like a safety rating or anything like that not in this not in these beginner lobbies anyways there's nothing like that i don't think this is really designed for you to just jump on the game jump in have five laps of fun uh with your mates or something or just you know just jump in and go head first into it and just have some fun um not sure how i feel about having the collisions turned off i will say that um I suppose it's, it's a good idea in a way, but it takes away racing because racing, you know, you, no one's invisible. Um, but yeah, super frustrating start to the races. This guy uh, in the black and green livery, which is just exactly like mine, except mine's black and yellow. He goes super wide there. Uh, I think he hits the sausage curb on the inside. Forces him to go wide and we are fighting for P1 here. I don't think slipstream is a thing. Um, when cars are ghosted, so uh, we're not going to get the benefit of that. And if we go through this left-hander once more, are we going to yeet the inside of that curb? We get a little bit, you can see the car definitely doesn't like that, and I take way too much of the next curb as well. Um, so, thankfully, there's not really any floor damage, so we seem to be fine, and it doesn't look like there's any damage in this beginner mode anyways. You certainly wouldn't want it, because the amount of carnage you're going to see in this video, especially in the next race, it's, <laughs> it's a sight to behold. It's... Um, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But lap three, we've got to serve our penalty. We slow, slow down just to, just in time, and we're going to serve our penalty now. And by the time we come out of the pits, we go from a P2 or P3 uh, all the way down to a very, very poor P17. Now, we've got one person in front of us. The other person is actually ghosted, so we're going to overtake them there, and that's going to put us up into P16. 
And then we just have to see if we can find ourselves around Jacob or through Jacob. And we certainly go through Jacob there and that puts us up into P15. And then one lap later, uh, we've got Omen and then we've got Luke in front of us. Now, we're going to eye these boys and girls up here. Miss the apex, but not massively, only by an inch or so. Uh, and then we go through this left-hander, then another left-hander. And you can see the rear really unstable there as I put, put down too much power way too early. Hit the apex nice and Nice and tight there, and we're going to go past those two and overtake another chap there. And that was the end of the race, and we finish P12 with that one. So our first online race, immediate penalty uh, that we had to serve. Dropped down to P17, made up five positions in the end. Uh, <laughs> I'll give it a four out of ten. So the second race I've got for you then is Australia. And immediately, um, my car is, well, it's not dead, but it would be in real life. Um, for some reason, I don't know, anyone who's got a, a wheel or a Fanatec wheel, please let me know. Uh, as soon as I started the lap, it just shot me off to the right-hand side. Like, the wheel just immediately turned right, and I've had to fight it with everything to pull it left again. And that was that. Anyways, five red lights, and away we go. So let's see how many positions we can get. There's one, two, three, and then there's four positions we've got uh, right there. So we're going to go through the first corner. Two people off, three people off there. So that's another couple of people. We go through one person there. They go wide. We go through another person there. Uh, green flag racing. I don't know how the hell it's actually currently green flags right now. As we go through turn three, we've got another chap off there. We've got two people that have just gone through. And I've just gone inside a third man there. This man's spinning. There's someone off the track there on the right-hand side. I can't even keep up with how many people are spinning. And somehow, through the first sector alone, we're now up to P5. As Alex goes inside me and then comes out of me again. It's a strange old race when you've got people going inside of you and outside of you. It's, it's a strange experience. You don't sign up to that online. But that's exactly what we ended up doing here. And somehow, as we come on this back straight, I guess, um, we're P3. So a crazy start to the race, starting basically at the back. And somehow, after half a lap, we've managed to get ourselves on the podium, which is absolutely crazy. And again, I will say this is my first experience on this track. I've only gone up to Canada, no, just past Canada in career mode, so I, I haven't done too much. Just, you can see my lack of experience here, I go way wide. Uh, I just don't know when the turning point is or how much speed you can carry in this game through that corner. So I just completely missed the apex and outbreak myself, went horribly wide. Uh, and I did end up losing a position, but I did get it straight back. So it's P3 now. Uh, after one lap, I'd say that was a very, very successful first lap. As you go through this right-hander here, onto the left-hander, the deadly curbs have hit me here. And, yeah, absolutely destroyed any chance I had of winning this one. But we get a cool little reset, which is a new added feature, which is pretty cool. Um, it seems that if you spin out or don't get back on track in time, the game will automatically reset you. But not just in the middle of the track, you'll actually start running, which is pretty cool. So you don't actually lose that much time. So we drop down to P7, uh, and then just a few corners later, we're back up to P6, which is uh, absolutely lovely. So let's see if we can get ourselves back in the top five there. Five then, excuse me. And we'll see if we can get past Birdie here. Um, you can see one person's gone off the track there. Birdie went wide there as well. So there is a potential for a P3 still. Uh, two and a bit laps into this Australian Grand Prix. Go through this fast left and then right hander. Absolutely awesome section of corners. There are three people off there at the same time. That was like perfectly synced. That was so weird. Have a look at this. You got. Look at that, all three people, same corner. Look, that is just, I don't think I've ever seen that. Three people at the same corner at the same time. That was bizarre. Brilliant, and then P2 in front of me bins it. So again, lap two somehow, I'm fighting for P2. Absolutely crazy. Um, and then on lap four there, or end of lap three, start lap four, I set the fastest lap, which is absolutely amazing. And then I spin again on that God damn curb, I did not learn my lesson at all. And thankfully, the game does reset itself. But once more, the chances of a podium... Uh, well, podium's still in the bags, but a chance of a win here, absolutely thrown it away. And I actually wanted to test the corner cutting system. So that's exactly what I did. So it seems you can cut it, and it doesn't actually disqualify you. Or if you do it too bad, it seems absolutely fine. So we decided to do it again. And again, a legal overtake. But then all of a sudden... I actually do get disqualified. So, funnily enough, you can get disqualified in the beginner's lobbies. And that was a genuine test. That was a genuine test. I did it two laps in a row. And I, the first lap, I, didn't, I only got a warning. I didn't get any disqualification or anything. So I thought, okay, I'll do it again. Anyways, 
We got the qualifier from that, so let's go to Bahrain for the third and final race of this video. In the sprint qualifying, I actually qualified P2, and the chap next to me here, who we man managed to overtake, and we took the lead for a, just a split moment for a whisker. We had the lead, we could taste that sweet, sweet champagne for first place. I only get one for second or third, but who cares? Anyways, uh, we go past him once more. As you can see, he's actually... He was inside of me there as we go through that corner. He overtakes me and he's just a very, very quick chap. I have to say, he was a very, very quick racer. And yeah, it's going to be one hell of a job, or a mission I should say, to uh, beat this beat this chap and get our first win online. Or maybe just, just a podium, something, you know? Just a podium, I think, would be nice. Because um, <laughs> we've done two races so far and we've had a P12 and a DNF. So it's not been the most successful, but what I will say is it's been a lot of fun. To just jump into a lobby, it is pretty much perfect. It's it's brilliant. And the more I do these races, this, these beginner lobbies as such, I'm actually quite glad there is no contact. Now, that might be a controversial opinion, because taking away contact kind of takes away racing, but that's up for you, know, you guys to debate in the comments. But so far, so good. First lap, we've been fighting with uh, this American here uh, in P2, and we're doing pretty well. He is uh, He's quick. He is very, very quick, as we nail the apex on that last corner there. And we put the ERS, we deploy it, and we're going to cross the line here. And we're actually going to lead a lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix. We're going to set a purple time, but it's the fastest lap. We are in P1. You do kind of expect. Breaking point here, then, is just before the 100 meter board. In my team career mode, I'm braking as the curb actually appears. So you can tell these online cars, they're so much better than what you get. And I was getting a real tank slapper uh, coming out of uh, turn two. I think that'll be turn two on that one. Anyways, uh, breaking as the curb forms on the left-hand side, clipping that curb on the inside of that corner, and that is just... That's not what you want. It's not what you want at all. It, it, it does unstabilise the car, so uh, we'll try to avoid that next time. Purple in the first sector, again, kind of expect this. Lap two, uh, we've crossed the line. A much quicker rate than what we started on lap one, but I can't seem to break uh, the American behind me here. We're half a second up, but this is kind of my weak point here, this corner here. Previous F1 games, I've always found it extremely difficult to get that corner right. I always seem to lock up. Um, but I will say, since getting load cell pedals, actually a lot easier. Now, whether it's actually the pedals, as much as the game making it a lot easier, I don't know. I actually don't know. But what I will say is that this game and the pedals, so much easier through that corner. Um, much better to drive. I actually really like driving around here. And the graphics, I have to say as well, for this game, uh, really impressive. This is on PC, uh, if you uh, haven't realized already but uh, yeah this is on PC so not uh, PS5, PS4, Xbox One um, yeah this is on uh, PC uh, I like to have the higher uh, frame rate anyways we cross the line here with a 127.8 now I have no idea if that's a good lap it felt like it was a good lap um, but I feel like I could definitely find maybe on, on a good day half a second on that maybe maybe we could get a really really low 27 if we absolutely nail it um, yeah, I think we could get. Uh, I think we can get a good time out. Anyways, breaking at 75 meters, so just between the 100 meter and the 50 meter board, and somehow uh, this chap here has actually managed to overtake me there. So he's absolutely nailed the first sector there, and somehow, even though I thought I was driving a really good race, he's uh, he's overtaken me, uh, which is quite frustrating. Anyways, uh, we skip ahead to lap four. Now you're gonna. Now you, I think personally, if you haven't spun on this corner before and I don't think you've ever played F1 because that is the easiest corner in the world to spin. You just touch that curb, you just look at it and it spins you. And I lost the race from that and so frustrating. I thought we could have gave that chap in front of us a really good run for his money but unfortunately we're going to cross the line here and we're going to get P2 in the end. Um, but overall first experience of F1 online a lot of fun. I definitely need to do some more higher rank lobbies and see how that works with damage and, and contact. But for beginner lobbies, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I hope you boys and girls enjoyed uh, this first F1 2021 video. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I will catch you for the next one. But, uh, take care, everyone. Ta-da.